In southwestern Mexico, an annual kite festival is underway. And some people, like Luis Miguel Herrera, take the art of kite flying very seriously. At this year's festival, Luis Miguel is showing off more than a dozen of his creations. Some stand out more than others, like this 40 meter long depiction of Tlaloc, an ancient Aztec religious icon. This represents the god Tlaloc, god of the rain. It's the dragon of Tlaloc, as we like to call it. It's blue and it has a few bells in the back that you can hear when it's in the air. The Kite Festival takes place in one of Mexico's most iconic and mysterious archaeological sites, Teotihuacan. There's a mysticism behind this location. Ezequiel Galicia, a fourth-generation artisan, shows us some of his handmade ocarinas. Ceramic whistles used by ancient people to mimic the sounds of animals found in the region. Everything from birds to jaguars. Other sounds are a bit more unsettling. Before heading to war, our ancestors would carry these instruments and use them to intimidate their enemies during battle. For those less skilled at flying kites, there are workshops, where a couple of sticks, some string and a sheet of paper is all you need to get your personalized artwork off the ground. We're flying one of the biggest kites at the festival right now, and I have to admit this is actually quite relaxing, which is, after all, the point of it to enjoy the good weather and have a bit of fun. Part cultural showcase, part carnival, the Teotihuacan Kite Festival is ultimately about families spending time together and letting loose under a canopy of hundreds of high-flying works of art. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera, Teotihuacan, Mexico.